Well, let's just get it out of the way at the start, shall we? I know everyone and their dead dog has played this game before, but the simple fact of the matter is I don't care because I was playing it again recently with my sister, who is 12 years old, and we were playing a two-player game together, and I was just reminded of what a stone-cold classic this game is, and so I just got in the mood to play it again. What can I say? I don't apologize for it. I've Probably everyone on YouTube has played it at some point in their Let's Play career, and I'm a huge Raukow fan. I like to watch all the Mario hacks and stuff. You see a lot more Mario World hacks these days than you do the original Super Mario World, and I thought it would just be nice to take a step back and remember why the classic is a classic. And we start out here at Yoshi's house. This is strictly voluntary right here. You see where your friend Yoshi's gone off to? He signs with a paw print, and that's our first clue that's right so we need to get out our handy dandy notebook right and then we exit stage right okay and now we're off Yoshi's Island 1 we're probably gonna do all of Yoshi's Island today because I'm gonna be breezing through this game fairly quickly that was a dragon coin I think they were called dragon coins initially they changed it to Yoshi coins for the Super Mario Advance release because that's what everybody was calling them anyway but I think they were initially called Dragon Coins, as I recall. And this guy is Rex. You can either jump on him and flatten him out, and he takes two hits, or we can press the A button to do a spin jump, and that'll take him out. That'll take him out in one hit. And I don't use the spin jump very often. I'm just pretty much showing off right now. And if you get all the Dragon Coins in a level, you get a one up. And believe me, for those of you who remember my original run of Super Mario World on my old channel. You know we're going to be getting one-ups out the wazoo in this game. I'll probably have 30 lives by the end of today, even. Assuming we get all the way through Yoshi's Island. We'll just see where the time takes us, really. Cannon pipe. Whee! Just don't hold any directional buttons, and you'll hit that midway tape right smack in the middle. And that is our checkpoint, for those of you who have never played this game. Inexplicably, I mean, but I guess it could happen. There's always some entertainment experience that some people have missed on out on in their lives you know there's always that one thing that makes people go what you've never played that bonsai bill click boom boom and yeah i'm going to be doing a lot of showing off i'm going to try to give a little bit of a tutorial aspect as i go but really really in some cases i'm not really going to bother because my interest is in just blowing through this game. I love this game. This is probably, I would say probably my most favorite Mario game is Mario 64. But this is definitely a close second. Here's the tape at the end of the level. And if we hit that tape, if you just walk through the end goal, you don't get anything. But if you hit the tape, you get an amount of bonus stars. And the amount is higher depending on how high you hit the tape. You can get as many as 50. Sometimes I'll try to go for 50, but I don't often hit it. You have to be like pixel perfect to get 50. I usually end up getting the next pixel down, which is 40. But this is the first of the four Switch Palaces we're going to be playing. Switch Palaces are usually a nice break from normal challenging playing, especially this one where we just blow through and get a ton of one-ups based just on coin collection. 100 coins, of course, is a one-up. 100 coins gives you a one up that is to say you can usually get you can usually get three one ups in a good run of the yellow switch palace here and we're already up to 10 yeah you better believe we're going up to 99 i recall in the gba version you could go past 99 lives you can actually go up to 999 and i don't think we're going to be getting that many we'll probably get in the neighborhood of 200 to 250 throughout the course of the game but we've hit the yellow switch we'll be able to save our game and now all you might have seen a few in the first level there. There were a few outlines of blocks that had yellow dotted lines. And anything that had a yellow dotted line, any sort of yellow dotted line that was just sitting suspended in the air, is now going to be a yellow excla exclamation block. And yellow exclamation blocks always contain mushrooms. So that's like an easy power up right there. We'll probably, we will definitely, damn it. Ah, damn it. I screwed it up. Am I going to be able to get that back at any point? Probably not, because I've done gone and killed him, but... Oh, sh... <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. I'm already screwing up big here. Here we go. Okay. I thought I'd screwed up my chances at an one easy one up there. Yeah, just... Send that... 
send that shell winging into him and you'll get yourself an easy one up. And here is our first encounter with Yoshi. I never read that dialogue. He's like, he got, I got captured and sealed in an egg on my way to beat Bowser or something. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I just want you for your shell enemy eating abilities. Depending on the color of the shell, Yoshi will, of course, do different things when he spits it out. Or when he holds it in his mouth, as the case may be. Green shells don't do anything. Red shells enable you to blow fire when you spit them out. Yellow shells make you stomp the ground with dust that can knock out enemies. And the blue shell helps you fly. And we'll also encounter similarly colored Yoshis. Where every shell they eat corresponds to... Like, the, the color of their skin corresponds to the ability they would normally have if they ate that color shell. Meaning every shell that they eat will give them that particular color shell's ability. I'm not explaining that very well, but you'll see what I mean when we get to certain points later on in the game. One up. All right, we are, yeah, we are making really good time here. And if you get enough red berries, you'll get a mushroom. And if you get enough pink berries, you'll get a coupon for a free yogurt. No, I'm just kidding. A little cloud will pop out of your butt. And if you get all the happy face coins, you'll get a one up out of that. So... We'll have a few opportunities in the game to do that. A few easy ones, a few difficult ones. And what I'm doing here is I'm dismounting Yoshi. This is going to be a handy trick that we do. You press the A button to dismount Yoshi. And if you're on the ground, you'll just spin jump off of him. But if you jump and press the A button in midair, you'll just do a normal jump off of him, which allows you to get things that are really high in the air, like these, uh, like these flying coin blocks. If we didn't have Yoshi, we would have to pick these up, these blue throw blocks. We would have to pick them, hold up, and then hold the Y button, and then release the Y button while still holding up to kick those things. It's a little more complicated. I like just plain old dismounting Yoshi. And we're just going to avoid charging Chuck. Yeah, I did not do that well at all. <laughs> but hey, that's a lot of bonus stars. I bet we get to play at least one bonus game before this video is over. Meaning you'll get to see how terrible I am at that. Anytime I succeed in the bonus game in this game, it's generally a fluke because I have really bad timing for that thing. Alright, and we can just jump over here. If we had not gotten the yellow switch palace, these would not be here. We could not have gotten those three coins. And what's this is a tip block right here. This is an advice block or a hint block, tip block, whatever. Point of advice. Yes, they were called dragon coins. Thank you for validating me, game. Yep, we already knew that because I already said it. I'm going to get way ahead of this game on a lot of points, probably. Man, I used to love these spinning platforms when I was a kid. There was like... Like, coming from someone who had like been raised on Mario 3 and then moving up to this, this was just probably an even more epic step up. And yes, as you see, if you pick up a Yoshi egg while you're already riding a Yoshi, the Yoshi egg will contain a 1-up. In case that wasn't obvious from what just happened a few seconds ago there. But yeah, this game, this game really sh- Oh, I missed something. I missed something. Let's, uh, I think I missed it down there, actually. Yep, right here. I missed this pipe right here. This is going to get us, I think, a dragon coin of some sort. There we go. Just run over the lava. Lava kills you instantly, even if you're riding Yoshi. Yoshi just kind of sits there and takes it, but Mario... He'll die no matter what he's outfitted with. Even a star. Okay. You gotta be able to time this better, Yoshi. Come on. Perfect. Alright. But yeah, as I was saying... Yeah, this game was a really, for me, at seven years old, this game was a really epic step up from Mario 3. And I loved Mario 3 like it was practically my child, but this game this game just took it to a whole nother level you're like dinosaurs in a mario game that'd be weird and maybe not altogether great but it ended up being genius and this is a star block if you get 30 coins throughout the course of a level you'll get a one up out of the star block excellent excellent there's still one more dragon coin right yeah all right let's try to hit this yeah that's probably about as high as we'll get riding a yoshi with very little momentum to a run so only two more levels and we're done with Yoshi's Island here. Yoshi, your island is pretty easy. Have I ever told you that? And now we have sort of a water level. There's an interesting trick at the beginning here. There's something I didn't know about this game until many, many, many moon later. 
when I was playing when I was playing around with Lunar Magic, the of course the really popular graphic editor, GUI editor that allows people to make all those crazy fancy Mario World ROM hacks that they do. Thanks to Lunar Magic, I know that if you run up here. No, I, I'm trying to get on top of the level here, is what I'm trying to do. Because this game has invisible one-up checkpoints. That if you run through them in chronological order, or if you touch them in chronological order, the game never tells you they're there. But if you go through them, you'll just create a one-up out of the ether. And it's going to land somewhere about here, I think. There it is. Now we can go back and get Yoshi. But yeah, there are some invisible one-up points up there, which you'll see if you look at the map for this level in Lunar Magic. What what awaits us through the pipe here? I'll always try to go through pipes. Oh yeah, this is just a normal segment with Pokey! Pokey! And if you get right up on a Pokey with Yoshi, you can't kill Pokies if you're just Mario, but if you're Yoshi, you get you get his nose like right up on the base of the Pokey and you eat and he'll take down four segments at once and they all count as coins. So it's kind of easy to it's kind of easy to accumulate some coinage that way. Whenever you eat a and eat an enemy, whenever you eat an enemy as Yoshi, it counts as it treats it as if you just got a coin. Speaking of coins, dragon coin, and let's let's jump and let's grab the star. All right, and let's cruise through and get some one ups this way. Yep, dip in the water. Yes, here they come. All right, perfect. And we're already up to 25 lives. They are going to suit us well for Iggy's castle. Pop! Oh crap! Oh man, I was just gonna do that one go and be awesome, man. And instead, I completely suck. Oh man. Oh well, you won't get to see the bonus video today then, or not bonus video, the bonus game that you get to play every time you get 100 bonus stars. And now, Iggy's Castle. Iggy, the first Koopa Kid we face in this game. He was the fourth in Mario 3, but he's the first in this game, named after Stooge's frontman Iggy Pop, as all the Koopa Kids are named after somebody who was popular in the music industry at the time Mario 3 was created. Well, not necessarily. Prevailing theory seems to be named... Pre <laughs> prevailing theory seems to be that Larry Koopa was named after Lawrence Welk, who is anything but popular. And now we're going to stay on the fence and just kind of bop turtle shells here. We're going to ignore that flower because we want to stay on the fence as much as possible. Because it counts as being up in the air if we're on the fence. And as you know, the more enemies you stomp on from the air consecutively the easier it is to get a 1-up. Like, we're just going to wait for this guy. He's going to be our first 1-up. We're going to get tons of 1-ups in here. Press the Y button to, on these doors to go to the other side of the fence. In fact, we can just sit through on the fence right here. And the fireball won't affect us because we're operating on, I think, two layers here. Alright, perfect. Mario seems pretty happy to be fence climbing, and he's really good at it. He is fast. But if we jump over to the other side... We'll be on the front for some reason. You can't jump from back to back. You can only go... I was going to say, there should be a red one coming around the way, shouldn't there? Let's see. Excellent. Per ah, there he is. Ha <laughs> ha. Thought I was going to miss you. No way, sir. There's nothing up there, is there? Well, I would like to think there's something up there, but there's probably not. And this is one of the few castles with a midway point. Most of the castles don't have this, as I recall, especially later on. Ha ha ha, coins! Gonna stomp me, big ol' rock thing? I don't think so. We're gonna pop down in here. Oh, look at that! Hide! <laughs> oh, I love toying with these things. They're so big and slow and lumbering. It's so easy to get away from them, even later on when they're putting harder obstacles around us. Ooh, a shrinking and growing floor. Ooh, so bad. Ooh, I wonder what's going to happen if I just stand here. Ooh, ooh, scary door. <laughs> but uh, Iggy Koop is really easy. All you have to do to kill him is get him in the, f in the lava. 
I had a friend that I used to play Mario World with at his house when I was a kid, and he got mad because we were playing two-player, and I was the one who beat Iggy Koopa, and that's not fair because he never plays his game, and I play it all the time. I'm, sh I'm the one who should be good at it. Because, <laughs> you know, kids argue about stupid things. They complain about stupid things. Kids are stupid. But, yeah, we're still friends, me and him, me and that guy. He was just being ornery. Now we're going to travel to, well, not necessarily Donut Land. It's actually called Donut Plains. I guess the whole continent is called Donut Land, but we're going to go there now from here. Mario having destroyed a castle with his bare feet. Well, I guess a bomb. Never mind. <laughs> I'm thinking ahead to other of these little cinematic sequences. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Oh, he had dementia? Oh, we should have put him in a home. We could have been way more helpful than just sending him off into the lava, although maybe it's for the best. Maybe he wanted to die. Who can say? But now we get to save our game, and that's going to be it for today. We're not going to take down one whole world a day. They get much bigger than this at this point, as you can see. Press the start button. You can look all around the map at the various lands. This is There's a little more to Donut Land than this right here. I mean, there's a lot of... We're going to start running into red levels. In fact, we're sitting on one right now, which are secret exits. Those levels that are red have a secret exit, and we'll be doing some pretty ferocious editing in order to show off both the normal and secret exit in a level. And there are lots of those in Donut Land and in the lands beyond. So get a good look at it. Take it all in. We're going to be having lots of fun with it. Zip! And I will see you guys next time then. We'll start in on Donut Plains tomorrow.